I recently bought myself a uh, an FX catalogue and it dates from 1976 and it shows four pages of FX military vehicles and I thought it would be nice to show you the pictures and I'll also show you the models I've just laid them out in a catalog style now I haven't included the RAF sets so I was going to do those in a separate video uh, on an airfix set, uh, airfield setting the first model that uh, airfix produced in their vehicles range was uh, a missile, just a bloodhound and included the missile itself, its trailer the launcher nice early series Land Rover and a, and a spotty dog the next batch of models came out in 1961 and these were the, the Sherman she came with the name Charger on it a Churchill tank a German Panther tank and uh, a Sturmgeschütz which is based on the German Mark III Panzer FX called it um, an assault gun In 1963 they released this set, which was the British 25 pounder artillery with a quad tractor, a limber and some crew figures In 1964 they added a Bren carrier and that came with some more figures and a six pounder gun. In 1964, also brought out a kit of a World War One tank, and this was came out in 1967. This is the male version with the six pounder guns. And later on, Airfix did bring out a modified kit with uh, to show the female version with the machine guns. They were painted in these rather fancy camouflage schemes, but in World War One, everything ended up mud-coloured, so they eventually simplified everything. In 1965, um, Airfix went very nautical, bringing out the kit of the duck, the amphibious American transport, the other brilliant amphibious vehicle called a Buffalo, and this came with a little Jeep to fit inside. and also a landing craft with the Sherman tank also came out British Centurion came out in 1966, Airfix bought a half track, 
This also included a, a trailer. And the Matador truck with the 5.5 inch gun. Now, FX were very clever here. They, this is the M3 Grant and Lee Tank. It's the same kit that came out in 1969, but it included two turrets. And so you can build the American version, the Lee, and the British wanted to add more radio equipment into the turret, so there's a slightly different design a slightly larger turret. The FX Grant turret is a little bit flat, so it just benefits from building up with a bit of plastic card underneath to make it a little bit taller. The Tiger tank was uh, introduced in 1964. And that was also joined by the armored car. The other model Airfix brought out with two turrets was the T-34. So you could build the early version with a 76 millimeter gun. And they included the another turret so you could build the later 85mm version. The Stalin tank dates back from 1962. And completing the Russian collection is the SAM guideline missile, which was built out in 1973. It comes on a trailer and also comes with a launcher as well. Into the Cold War there's a, a British chieftain tank that came out in 1971, the kit. This was joined by a Leopard. Which came out in 1970. 1972 saw a, a Sheridan tank. And another airfix kit which includes different options to build two from one is the Scorpion, which has the shorter 75mm gun, and it also includes parts to make a scimitar, which came with a longer barreled, but it's a 30mm rather than cannon. It's nice to have uh, the choices. In 1974, they brought out the Chiha tank. Crusader is another kit that came with different parts to build the, the earlier version with a two pounder gun and the later Mark III with a six pounder gun. These came out in 1971. 
kits. These are really old kits, they were given to me. Matilda is a 1973. And I couldn't resist painting that in the uh, colourful contour scheme. Whether that camouflage worked, who knows? One of the last um, 76 scale models was the uh, Bofors gun with its Morris tractor. The kit comes with one Bofors gun, but I had a spare one, so I painted one ready to fire and one packed up for towing. The German 88mm gun and tractor came out in uh, 1967. As also that was joined the same year for the Scammell tank transporter. Panzer IV kit. Joined the range in 1971, and it's another kit that came with two different gun barrels, so you could produce an early F1 version with a short 75mm gun, and then the longer barreled F2. Nineteen seventy nine is the German reconnaissance set. The armored car and a Kubelwagen came with some figures. At one time you could buy it in a set with a little desert outpost. In nineteen seventy-nine, very nice Opal Blitz model with a pack forty seventy five millimeter gun. So that's the Airfix 76 scale range between 1960 to 1980. Hope you enjoyed seeing them. I think a lot of these, some have been brought back out as vintage classics. I think the Scorpion and Scimitar would be popular. The Chieftain is a great kit, as is the Leopard. I think the Chiha has been released. 34s, Joseph Stalin has been released as a vintage classic. Unfortunately, the Sam missile, the molds have been lost. The Scammel has been released. And it is one of the trickier kits to build in the FX range. But they FX did bring out such a nice variety of of vehicles and it complemented your figure sets. So you could build up your armies for war games or display. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you subscribe, there'll be more videos like this. And it's, uh, it's nice to revisit some of these older kits when they come out as vintage classics. They're really 
Good fun to build. Take care.